So what's the story, Sith? Seems like you know all about me, and I don't know nothing about you. You always a sicko, or did you just kind of fall into it like I did? Some Imperial thought it would be funny to shoot my kind for sport. I shot back. They wanted to kill me, but made me Sith instead. Funny how those Sith work. I was an accountant on Moneyland when I decided I wanted a little more adventure. <laughs> so I put a blaster to the head of the intergalactic banking clan and walked off with a few million credits. Been robbing and murdering ever since. How much of that story is true? Does it really matter? In three years, the Sky Princess took more cargo and harassed more Republic ships than half the Imperial fleet. I'm a liar and a thief and a murderer, but I'm good. You know, you got a pretty nice ship. It's no Sky Princess, but hey, what is? I had a ship like it once. No armor to speak of, but you don't need defense when you can maneuver like that. You didn't seem to have a ship when I met you. Yeah, got blown to pieces. But it was a thrill while it lasted. Nothing like playing chicken with a ship twice your size and then firing up his tail when he blinks. Sky Princess was great, but she couldn't do that. So why did you move on to the Sky Princess? Nice as a little ship like that is, you just can't carry enough cargo. And you burn too much fuel jumping to hyperspace. Pirate's gotta make a living, and then he's gotta be able to escape when the pressure's on. But this ship here? Huh. Best of both worlds. She'll fly like a dream, and then she'll jump away. No offense, but I think I'll be doing the flying around here. Oh, what's the matter, Sith? Don't think I got the chops? Eh, <laughs> don't worry. I'll look after her like she was my own mother. Not so much as a scratch. Hey, you got time to chat? I didn't think you were the chatting kind. Haven't been aboard too long. Like to know who I'm working with. Nothing touchy-feely, just enough to know you got my back. I like two things. Ancient artifacts and getting my way. Remember that, and we'll be fine. I'll try to remember. Just one more thing. You ever butt heads with the Republic, let me have a shot. I got a score to settle, and it'll be a long time before I call it even. You hear that, Sith? Nothing like it in the galaxy. The hum of an idling blaster. Potential energy right there. It's like waking up on your birthday wondering what you got. For a few minutes, it's anything. A whole galaxy just waiting for you to pull the trigger. What do you call it? Nah, don't name my blasters. It's a bad idea to get attached. Actually, I was wondering. These blasters are nice, but a pirate's only as good as his equipment. We don't got fancy force powers like you Sith. If I see a good pair come my way, You'd be the first person I think of. Thanks. Good to know you got my back. Hey, I got a surprise for you. Won it a few years ago in a fight against an animid pirate. Called himself the Fear. Kinda crazy, but great pilot and a great fighter. Blade's just ornamental, but he sure liked to wave it around. Worth a lot of credits from what I hear. Haven't you ever heard of giving a girl flowers? Oh yeah, sure. But the last florist we passed was closed, and besides, they wilt real fast in space. You know, if you don't take this blade, you might hurt my feelings. I don't believe that for one moment. You sure? Maybe I like you. Maybe I like you too. Well, then we might just work out after all. You know, I think I heard the ship's engine making a strange noise earlier. Mind if I check it out sometime? It doesn't matter to me either way. I'm sure it's just some debris, but we don't want this thing tanking out on us in a pinch. I'm no expert, but a buddy of mine back before the war taught me most of what I know. Carl Norn, best technician I knew. Worst card player. Could never see when the deck was stacked against him. <laughs> and it always was. You have quite the colorful group of friends. Pirate business has all kinds of people. Made me first mate after the war. On a ship called the Bloodshot Ranker. I learned a lot before he gambled the ship away. But you're sick of hearing me jabber, huh? <sighs> Engine's fixed. Looks like we took on some rock on one of our last jumps. Nothing big. Reminds me of the time I took the Sky Princess through an asteroid field. My ship mechanics were furious. Clean rock out of our engines for weeks. Had to replace one of the rears, it was so badly damaged. 
What were you doing in an asteroid field? Dodging the enforcers. When you got a fleet of Republic ships on your tail, you take whatever cover you can find. Rocks don't have cannons. <laughs> Besides, what's life without a little risk, huh? That's why I became a pirate. The risk, the reward, the freedom. That's the same reason I became Sith. Though my freedom was perhaps more literal. Freedom's all in the mind, but it does help to have a good blaster. You busy? Why? Did you have something in mind? I like you, you like me. What say we find a quiet spot on the ship? Get to know each other better. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, I can't wait. Well, let's find out. Have I ever told you how beautiful you are? Don't start getting sentimental on me. Nothing sentimental about liking pretty things. Just means I have a good eye. Hey, remember I was telling you about Carl Norn, great tech bad card player? Got me into the pirate racket? Just got a call from him. He's in deep. The hut cartel on Nar Shaddaa's got his number. He deserves what he gets, but he's done good by me. I promised I'd meet him on Nar Shaddaa and help him out. What makes you think I'm interested? I thought it only polite to ask before I flew off. Not that it matters what you say. I'll try not to be long, huh? So what happened with your friend Carl? Were you able to help him? Yeah, thanks for asking. Carl's same as ever. Never got a hand he didn't want to play. His debts weren't anything a few well-placed blaster shots couldn't settle. Do you ever miss being a pirate? I miss some things, I guess. But it's not like it's boring around here. Thanks for letting me bail him out. So what's proper manners for asking a Sith Lord out for a drink? You might try. You want to get a drink? All right. You want to get a drink? You know a good spot? And don't say, Moss Ela. That stuff is swill. I think I know a place. <laughs> Can I ask you something? If you could live anywhere, do anything, what would you do? I was a slave before I was Sith. I'm only just getting used to the idea that I can do whatever I want. After I ditched the army, I'd hear someone bark an order and stand to attention. Freedom's hard to get used to. Used to think all I wanted to do was fly and fly and fly. Didn't matter where. But I like working with you. Ship's nice. The company's not bad either. You're okay too. Aw, thanks. I gotta come clean with you, Sith. I wasn't always the scoundrel you met on Tatooine. I used to run in the Republic military. Made captain before I wised up and deserted. Call it misspent youth. Why are you telling me this now? Carl sent me a message. I guess bailing him out got the Republic military's attention. Seems they've added treason to the charges of desertion and piracy. Guess they're not big on former officers traveling with a Sith. Anyway, if things get hot, I might need to hop off the radar for a while. If things get hot, this ship is the safest place for you. The Republic military police are no match for me. <laughs> Thanks. Good to know you got my back. Hey, I gotta run. Is the Republic on to you? Don't got time for questions. Someone from my Republic days has popped up. Someone I thought was dead. If I don't jump on this tip now, he might disappear again. I'll fill you in later. All right, I said I'd give you an explanation when I got back. Here it is. We were chasing down a free trader on a tip in neutral space when an Imperial fleet jumped on our position, blasted us to pieces. Guy who gave us the tip, an SIS agent, that spy to the Empire, named Harmon Reich. Why would a Republic agent tip off an Imperial fleet? I hear lots of Republic boys are playing both sides. It's not just the Sith who have powers of persuasion. Could have just been bad intel except Reich disappeared the same day. 
One of my old underworld contacts traced one of his safe houses, but Reich slipped away before I could get to him. I can understand not wanting to fight somebody else's war. I skipped out myself, but Reich owes me an explanation. What if the explanation is that he betrayed you and your men and sent you to die? He better have a good reason why. Hey, uh, Sith. We make a pretty good team. I was thinking I might take off after I found Reich, but the old job just doesn't sound quite as appealing. I'm never going to be rid of you, am I? Hey, no need to get snappy about it. If I'm driving you nuts, I'll leave you alone. I was just playing with you. <laughs> he really had me going. Maybe sometime I'll take you out into open space, show you the thrill of lying in wait for a big freighter and a big payoff. I may be out of the game, but my skills are sharper than ever. Hey, I got an idea. You ever fly to the middle of nothing, cut the engines, and just drift? I'm always looking for an excuse to waste time. You won't regret it. I promise. You ever find it funny how huh? no matter where you are in the galaxy, it always looks like you're at the center of things? I didn't know you were so philosophical. When a pirate gets philosophical, it's just another word for going crazy. I guess it's that normally I start feeling strangled right now. You know, in a relationship. Like I gotta run away. This morning I woke up and thought, I'm out of here. And then I realized I, I didn't want to go. If you leave me, I'll kill you. <laughs> well, you'll have to catch me first. <laughs> I've got him. Reich, the SIS agent who betrayed me. He's a dead man. My old girl Casey intercepted an encrypted message. He's moving on Trandosha of all places as we speak. I've got a fly or I'll lose him. It's not as if I can stop you. This is the last bit of business tying me to my Republic days. This is the last time I'll run, I promise. Reich's dead. Was dead before I got to him. Lucky jerk. Turns out I wasn't the only enemy he made selling secrets. Imperial intelligence sniper got him. Guess he was playing both sides. I'm sorry you missed your chance at revenge. I only wish I could have gotten an explanation. But I guess he was just rotten all around. I'm done running off. You and Casey are the only friends I got. And, well, you're the only one with the ship. Does this mean you're done, being a bloodthirsty killer? Nah, but maybe I'm done going after revenge for a bit, huh? So, are we getting married or what? You get right to the point, don't you? You've been messing around long enough. No point in being vague. Just don't turn soft on me. Deal. I know you don't want me turning sentimental, but I, I gotta say it, you are beautiful. Just shut up and kiss me. Yes, ma'am. Hey, uh, can we talk? Look, don't tell anyone I said it, but you're all right. I wasn't sure this thing between us was gonna work out. I knew it would work out. Yeah? Huh. I don't know if we'll have kids or anything like that, but if we do, or you have apprentices or whatever, I want to be there to look after them. You thinking about having kids? I could be convinced. I'm just saying, you're not getting rid of me easy. <laughs> 